like we've talked about, you know, Sue and I have been working together for two and a half years. We've been through many, many phases together. And some of the most important and like most crucial components is for starters, it just takes a lot of the guesswork off of my own plate. I put so much time and effort and intentionality into my clients every single day. So that the fact that I don't have to think about my training and my macros and things of that nature, it makes it so much easier to then just get into the gym and put my meals together and just execute and know that I'm going in the direction that I need to go. It takes the guesswork out of my brain. I'm not thinking about it. I'm just executing. And I know Sue has spoken about this within her prep about the importance of that on previous podcasts. But I think that having that within a building phase is mm -hmm. just as important, if not even more important. Um, so being able to have that is huge. I think it's, we have we obviously just spoke about, you know, how it can be very difficult to go through the building process and have clothes fit differently, have the scale go up, feel a little bit, you know, different within your physique. And when you're going through that process on your own, it can be very easy to just think, okay, I'm doing something wrong, or it's time to throw in the towel, or I need to change my path. Um, when in reality, those are the moments where we grow the most. And those are actually a sign that you are accomplishing your goal. If your clothes are fitting a little bit differently, if the scale is going up, if you are feeling a little bit different within your physique and your goal is to build muscle, all of these are signs that you are accomplishing your goal. But because of, again, the, the cultural and societal, you know, diet culture and pressures and things that we experience, and, you know, previous experiences, we can experience those things and think, oh my gosh, like I'm doing something wrong. I need to go in a different direction. When in reality, it's just, like I said, it's that road that's less traveled. You've never experienced that. It's going to, you're going to experience some resistance. You're going to have to push through it and being able to have somebody to you know, help you keep that big picture in mind, I know has been so helpful for me. I know there's been moments where, you know, a couple of years ago I was going on a trip and I was like, you know, I'd love to go into a dieting phase for this trip. And while, you know, that can absolutely, you know, time up in certain phases of your life, where I was within a growing phase, that wasn't going to be advantageous for me. So Sue was able to say, hey, this is not a time where we want to step into a dieting phase. I think it's going to be more advantageous for us to continue to pursue this growth for a longer period of time and keep you know, keep me focused on the goal because again, I was getting in my own head and kind of second guessing myself. And because I was able to keep pushing, because I was able to keep going in the direction, I was able to see so much better progress and it made such a difference for me at the end of the day. So I know, again, that's, it's been absolutely, you know, invaluable having that guidance going through this process. And again, just having somebody to help you keep that bird's eye view, because when you're, you know, in the trenches of your own life and going through it on a day-to-day -day basis, it can be a little bit, you, you you don't necessarily always see it. Um, and, you know, progression within muscle building phases can sometimes be not necessarily like not as noticeable, but again, within a fat loss phase, you know, within an eight week period, you can see some really, really crazy changes within a uh, muscle building phase, maybe a little bit more difficult to see those changes again, because you may all have a little bit more body fat on your body as well. Again, nothing abnormal or wrong about that. It can just make it a little bit more difficult to potentially gauge that, especially if you're not experienced in looking at those changes within your own physique. So having somebody to, again, see those changes, point them out to you, say, hey, we're building this muscle, you're seeing it, we're seeing it where we want to see it, can be so, so, so helpful. So I think that's a couple of a couple of reasons yeah. been very beneficial for me. I don't know if you have any other thoughts. Yeah, well, it's also just as we've talked about, there's so many layers to how women view their bodies and how women see themselves and how anyone sees themselves. We talked about it in a few earlier podcasts. So we had an instant gratification podcast, which ties in with like dieting of you can have instant gratification and dieting because like you can see the scale go down pretty consistently. And that's gratifying to see like a new line each day or a new like split or whatever it may Close be. Clothes fitting differently. Yeah, it's, you can see it so much quicker and that's so gratifying. Whereas within muscle building, like you have to have that mindset of like we talked about in the delayed gratification podcast of okay, I'm not getting exactly what I'm wanting this second, but I need to know that if I keep working hard, it's going to happen for me. And even if it doesn't happen for me because life happens, I know that I spent each day working towards what I needed to to feel my best. And that's point blank what it's about is you need to be able to show up and be able to hit your head on that pillow each night and know that you showed up for yourself. You kept promises to yourself and you were able to do something that you weren't able to do previously. And that's an addicting feeling to know that 
I showed up for myself again. You know, it's not an addicting feeling to live a very unfulfilling life and bounce back and forth between never knowing what's going on. And what Charlotte is talking about of that bird's eye view or just someone who is objective instead of subjective, we, again, are in our own heads all of the time. And we have these perceptions, these views of our bodies. I sometimes still view my body as who I was five, six, seven years ago. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I'm still that girl. And that's obviously not true, but your mind can play tricks on you and you have to be able to either be so brutally honest with yourself and so unbiased, which is extremely difficult to do. And especially if you're in a place where you've tried muscle building phases and felt like you've bounced between it, not to say, oh, you're not strong enough, you need someone to help you, but it's just, it's okay to need help and to need guidance. And especially from someone who knows what they're doing, has been down that path and can help, like I said, cut out that noise. So when you're starting to spiral of, oh my gosh, all I've done is add fat or, oh my goodness, I'm looking this certain way and we're not seeing progress, you have that person to reel you in and look at those variables. And that other part of having a coach is that check-in document. So I had a client today that I was talking with and she said, I love this check-in document because even before I get your response, I feel like I'm so much more reflective and so much more in tune with my body. Not only am I seeing all the variables laid out in front of me, I am also understanding how they impact one another. I'm able to see my effort that I went in with the week, reflect back on it, and see what I need to do. It's so easy to point the finger at anything else, but being able to look inward, being able to be reflective, using that check-in document, and then having that objectivity from that coach can be I mean, and invaluable. It's imperative for your success, especially if you have a million other things going on. We all leave lead crazy lives. Mm -hmm. You can't expect yourself to be an expert at everything and to do everything perfectly as much as my brain would like to tell me that that is yeah. possible. It is not. I keep finding out that mm -hmm. I just can't do everything and I have to be okay with letting up some control to see the result that I want to see.